Here we have two electroculture antennas connected to a flagpole with a connecting wire assembling them. And here another, more perfected model of an electroculture antenna that can be fixed to a flagpole with an insulating support or, or as a refinement. We can simply insert it into a copper tube which will allow us to drive it directly into the crop plot. Different models exist, it's quite limitless. As you can see, the copper tube can be quite tall with an antenna placed at the top. This antenna is entirely made of aluminum. There are models entirely made of copper, entirely of copper as we see here, inspired by Martin Caro, who observed an increase in the active principles in medicinal plants, an increase in the number of seeds by using antennas like this one, entirely of copper. Plus petite qui existe et euh, des modèles euh, récents avec euh, l'aluminium qui euh, est électroconducteur ne rouille pas et different euh, heights rather for fruit trees we have smaller antennas that exist and recent models with aluminum which is an electrical conductor aussi. does On not rust voit, and is quite aesthetic which can also be inserted into a copper tube as you can see, there are different ways to create antennas. It's quite, it's very perfected, more or less perfected. And this is used in electroculture.